Hey, what's up everyone? It's Justin here, and this is a review of the Sennheiser Urbanite on-ear headphones. So in the past, I have had the privilege to try out quite a few Sennheiser products, and their newest one is the Urbanite. It comes in two different models, including the Urbanite, which is the one I have here, and it is an on-ear headphone, but it also comes in the Urbanite XL, which is an over-ear headphone. They are also available in quite a few colors, and will set you back at $200 for the Urbanite. Inside the packaging you do have your headphones itself, a removable cable as well as a carry pouch and it is always great to see a removable cable. That way if anything were to go wrong with it, you just gotta contact Sennheiser and they'll take care of it for you. As you can see the color I picked up here is brown but it is also available in blue, burgundy, red and blue which looks pretty cool as well as black. And the thing I've loved in the past about Sennheiser is not only is the sound quality impressive, but every headphone they come out with looks so different from another. The Urbanite is one that looks really sleek, but at the same time packs a high level of practicality. On each side you do have sliding ear cups, which is very easy to adjust. And from using them, I definitely prefer this type of adjustability as opposed to ones that are integrated in the headband. But I have to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of the look of these adjustable ear cups. You can also fold these headphones up with its premium stainless steel hinges making it very easy to stow them away and put them in the carry pouch while you are traveling. Though it would have been nice if they did include a hard carry case as well. Along the headband of the Urbanite you will notice that it has a denim texture which is really cool. You normally don't find these on headphones. It is a very high quality material and you can see the stitching that goes along the headband is absolutely beautiful. This also made the headphone itself feel very durable as we are normally used to seeing plastic as the headband on most headphones out there. And I also want to note that instead of having foam on the top of the headband, it is just a soft touch material which I actually preferred as it doesn't get as hot after long periods of time. If you are a Sennheiser user in the past, you will also notice that the ear cups are quite familiar. It is a suede material and once again they do feel very comfortable. Being someone who normally isn't a fan of on-ear headphones, I found these very comfortable. So now let's talk a bit about the sound quality. The Sennheiser Urbanites have a frequency response of 16 to 22,000 Hz with an impedance of 18 ohms. The sound quality coming from these headphones definitely reminded me of other Sennheiser headphones I've tried in the past. Especially another headphone in the consumer line of Sennheiser, the Momentums that I also tested out a while back. As you would expect out of Sennheiser, it delivered a very clear sound all around. It brought very nice highs and mids and that is what I noticed very clearly. The bass although it was still there, it wasn't the thumping bass that you would expect that some people enjoy, but in my opinion that wasn't really a problem for me. The thing I liked about the Urbanite though is that the kind of soundscape it delivered was a very enjoyable experience. So if you care about sound quality, do yourself a favor and use that money you're going to spend on some beat solos and check out these. And these set of headphones in particular made me like on your headphones a little bit more as the sort of gap between the drivers and your ear definitely deliver a cool experience when listening to your music. But aside from that, I'd like to give a big shout out to Sennheiser for sending us out for reviewing purposes, and the pricing and availability of this product will be linked in the description as always. I'll see you all in the next video.